we are going to be doing an entire tour of all the animals on the property. Oh my goodness, now we're picking with our fingers. Oh my goodness. We got his attention now. I think this is Cheech, but he's running. He's running after this. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, we are gonna be doing an entire tour of all the animals on the property. Now we're gonna be starting with the front of the property and making our way to the back of the property, but we are gonna be doing the reptiles because there are just so many reptiles. There's too many to see in one video. So guys, let's stop talking and let's get straight to it. So we're at the first enclosure and here we have our two emus. Now we've had them for I think about over a year, but you can see they have this entire area starting from all the way right there and coming all along here, all the way to this end right here. They have this nice shaded tree. They have a giant swimming pool right here. They have a little barn right here and there's actually another side that goes inside. So you can see Delano's in there and Delano's gonna be hanging out with them today. So guys, let's go join him. All right guys, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're we're gonna grab a handful of their food right here and we're gonna see if we can hand food him right now. So here we have Ghost and then Shadow is right over there. I don't know, the sun is kind of blocking him, but we are gonna try to feed Ghost. I mean, he is very sweet, but Shadow on the other hand is kind of skittish, but Ghost is very, very sweet. You can see how he just laid down for us. You want some food, buddy? Here you go. Delano, I think he wants you to pet him. I don't think he wants the food. Oh my goodness, he is so sweet. I mean, just look how gorgeous he is. Delano, does that feel weird? It does, it's very rough, but she loves being pet. Yes, she absolutely loves it. You, you want a tasty snack? You, you want something? Here, here you go, it's, it's really good. So as Delano is petting ghosts, we're gonna try to hand feed Shadow now. Shadow doesn't really like anyone coming up to her, but we are gonna try it out. We're gonna stick our hand out. Come here, maybe if we drop a couple pellets, She'll notice, and I, yeah, guys, I don't think she's too interested. Come on! All right, guys, so I got a banana, and the next enclosure that we're going into is little Theo right here. Hello! So we're gonna go on ahead and unlock the door. <gasps> Look what mommy got for you. She got a yummy banana. Come here. Look, mommy got a yummy banana. You wanna peel it back? Here, look. You gotta peel it like this. I'm not gonna help you. We gotta put it right here. Peel one side, yes. <gasps> Peel one side, and it has a little bad spot, so we gotta take that off, okay? Hold on, peel this side. Oh my goodness, we're so intrigued. So we're just gonna take that bad spot off. You want some banana? <gasps> oh my gosh, that is so yummy in the baby tummy. Oh, and we're taking big bites. Is that tasty, is it really good? You want more banana? Here, hold your banana. Here, you want it? Hold your banana. I think she's a little scared and doesn't want to hold her banana, but she is just chowing down and going straight for it. That's so, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, now we're picking with our fingers. Oh my goodness, now we're licking our fingers and they're full of nanas. Now guys, if you take a look at Theo right here, you can see how she's wrapping her tail around the bars of the enclosure right here. Now that's because they have a prehensile tail, which means they can put their body weight on it, but it's literally like a third hand. Isn't that right, little girl? You got a third hair on your little butt. That's what you got. So they will actually use this ability while they're climbing trees and balancing up in the high treetops. Hey, isn't that right, girl? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna let you do your thing and finish your banana. Here you go. All right, on to our next enclosure. We have our black and white rough lemur. So here we have Rue, and this is the female. Now, the way you can tell that this is the female is because with lemurs, the female is the dominant one, and the male is not. So the female will be bigger, while the male will stay a little bit smaller than the female, so you can see how just filled out she is. And let's see if we can get Rufus to come. Come here, Rufus. Come here, guys. I got a yummy treat. So here we have some cut apples for them, and they absolutely love this treat. So let's try to let's try to feed them and see what they do. You want something? Here you go. Oh my gosh, that's so tasty. Is that good? Is that so yummy? Oh my goodness, that's so yummy. Now we got Rufus to come down. You want a little treat, buddy? Is your girlfriend gonna get jealous? Here. Uh, okay, I think your girlfriend stole it. So we're gonna grab another one for Rufus. Here you go, buddy. Is that good? Here, take that. Take the apple. Oh my goodness, that is so tasty. Now the reason I'm not going inside with them is because they do get a little bit food aggressive. So that's why I'm feeding them through the enclosure, but these guys are the sweetest babies ever. I mean, look at that. Look at that face. I know, you want another one, but I'm sorry, you can't have any more. You guys did it for the other animals. 
Now we're at our last monkey enclosure and we have her favorite snack. So she's actually an insectivore. That means she can eat both plants and insects. So guys, here we have our little marmoset monkey, Simone. Hi, look, Simone. Guys, she doesn't even know that we have her favorite snack here. So let's surprise her. Come here. Oh my goodness, I know you see it. Look at this. Oh, look what I got, Simone, look. So we put her worms right here and she doesn't seem too, too interested. But if you just take a look at her enclosure, you can see she has a bunch of enrichment. She has a little ladder right here. She has a little hammock right there. She has a palm frond for the enrichment. And of course we have her little box right here. And when it gets cold, we have a heating lamp that actually heats up her box and keeps her nice and toasty. And of course we couldn't forget some of her toys and a box that she gets to explore. And so you can see she is one happy monkey guys I think do you see that I think she was trying to get the worm but she keeps on messing with them I don't think she really wants them so we're just gonna leave them here and let her munch on them later so next we're gonna be going in with our several brothers right here you can see Chong is in the lockout right now he was just finishing eating and he was just crying just a second ago and here we have China China hi you were just crying too now you guys are making me look bad because you guys were just crying I'm gonna come to you after okay pretty girl Hello, beautifuls. Oh, I know. Was your food tasty? Was your dinner good? It was good? Wow. Well, that was not nice. You wow. just hissed at me. I'm coming to let you out. I'm just lock out, little buddy. So we're going to let Chong out in three, two, and there he goes. So now that he is in there, we have both of the brothers in there. What we're going to do is we're going to lock this lockout right here and then head in the enclosure with the boys. So you can see the boys could literally care less about me. Oh, are you going to come up and say hi? Uh, okay, all right, yeah, so they could really care less about me, but guys, if you take a look right behind their ears, you can see that it kind of looks like eyes. Now, the reason that is is because when they're out in the wild and a predator is coming up behind them to attack them, well, the back of their ears will make it seem like they have another pair of eyes and that the predator is being watched, so ultimately, the predator will be scared off. So what we're going to do right now is we have a stick right here. Now, we're going to try playing with the boys right here. Now, they love chasing anything that moves around. Now, guys, let's see. All right, we got his attention now. I think this is Cheech, but he's running. He's running after this and he's got it Let's see if we can get Chong in on it. Come on Chong. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right now Just Cheech. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now we're walking in with Miss China girl right now. Now this is our female serval. Now she has to be my favorite serval of all. Now she is a little crazy and she could be a little feisty, but she is a sweetheart. Now you can see she is not as big as the boys because she's still a baby. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Oh! Now, servals are actually considered to be lesser cats. That means they can hiss, meow, and purr. But don't be fooled by their cuteness because these guys can be very, very aggressive, especially when feeding them. I mean, look. I mean, she is trying to swap me right now. But, girl, look at those crazy claws. I mean, you could do some serious damage. I mean, can we, can we look at your teeth? Are you going to let me look at your teeth? Oh, okay. All right. So we have made it to our next enclosure and you're probably wondering why the heck are you whispering Hannah? That's because we are in with mom and baby sloth right here. So here we have mom and this is Sid and there we have the baby. Hello, my goodness. Just look how big Bean Jr. has gotten. I mean, he is so, so big compared to his mom. And look, hi, you want to say hi? Oh my goodness. Now this is absolutely amazing getting to see this mom raise this baby and raise a happy and healthy, strong little sloth baby. Now we have a couple treats right here and we're only going to be giving them one apple each because even though they love these apples, it's not the greatest thing for them. So we have already fed them today so they get leaf eater biscuits, lettuce, they get carrots and they get sweet potato. But they are going to be so excited. So the first one we're going to feed is Sid, which is Mama right here. So we're going to go ahead and look at those giant teeth. And look, a baby is trying to reach for reach for Mom's apple. So we're just going to hold it carefully without trying to get bit. But if you look at her teeth right here, you can just see how massive her teeth are. Now, sloth teeth actually have no enamel. So they're constantly growing bacteria. So if you guys get bit by a sloth, well, you will have a nasty infection. So that's why we got to be extra careful that we don't get bit by these guys because look how big these teeth are and we would have a nasty bite. Now you can see both mom and baby are just munching and crunching on their apple. Just look how they use their claws to hold onto their apple. Now these guys are two-toed sloths. And the reason you can tell they are two-toed sloth is because they have two claws in the front and three in the back. Unlike a three-toed sloth, a three-toed sloth had three in the back and three in the front. All right, mama. Are you happy you got an apple today? All right, we give you nice pets and nice love. Okay, all right, we leave you and your baby alone. 
Guys, we are in our other enclosure with Bean and Suki, and hi. Are you, are you interested in what I have? I have a tasty treat for you. It's in my hand. Can you smell it? So we've got the tasty apple right here. Now he already knows what's up. You definitely know I have a treat. Isn't that right, buddy? All right, so we're just going to grab this apple right here. And here you go. Oh, my goodness. Now you can get a better view of just how dirty their teeth look. And just look how he just utilizes his hands to hold this apple. Now we can't forget about the other one in the corner right here. So we're just going to go on over. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. You want an apple? It's real tasty. Oh, oh yes, that is some good stuff. So you can see all of the sloths really, really love the apples. But of course, that does not make up their diet. So you can see they also got fed the same exact thing as the other sloths. It, is that some good stuff? Is, is that some real tasty stuff? That, that's so yummy. All right, now we're in with our last and final animal and our last and final cat. So here we have Nebula, our clouded leopard, and she is just one beautiful girl. Look at her just scale the top of this tree. Now, they are excellent climbers. I mean, just look how she just effortlessly just climbed onto the enclosure, and now she is just balancing herself on these beams right here. And you can see we have just one amazingly sweet clouded leopard girl, Nebula. Now, she is just the sweetest little baby ever. I mean, she does have her moments where she can be a little feisty but just look at her it's like a giant house cat with giant teeth so let's take a look at her teeth just look how big those teeth are now clouded lepers is the closest living relative to the saber-toothed tiger so it's pretty amazing getting to hang out with nebula i mean just look how beautiful this pretty girl is and if you look at her spots in the sun just look at her rosettes and just how gorgeous she is i mean you're so you're so pretty mamas now that, my friends, is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below which animal you guys saw was your favorite. And if you want to see more crazy animals like this, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.